Hello, my name's Alex Iderson, and I'm pleased to announce our new product, the Scare Pie. <laughs> You've all heard of a scarecrow. A scarecrow was designed for scaring away birds, such as, as the name scarecrow suggests, kestrels. But Alex Iderson Scare Pie is designed for something else. Scaring away wee pies. <laughs> wee pies like me. I uh... <sighs> We have a solution to the problem of wee pies climbing into your garden during the night to piss in your pot plants. Nay, wee pies gonna want to mess with this fella. The Scare Pie is in the classic Alex Iderson, Alex Iderson style and comes with three motion-sensitive, threatening phrases. Watch what happens when I approach the scare pie. Come ahead, you total pie. <laughs> oh, you bun, bull. What's hell now? I'd be sick. <laughs> also available now, Alex Iderson's Alex Iderson sex doll for women. Oh, talk to me, Alex. Oh, you bun. Oh, <laughs> I'm a head, you total pie. Oh, how are you so dirty? I'll stiffen you, you rascal, you. <laughs> You broke my heart, my lover, my best friend Tore me apart, there's no way to pretend You broke my heart in pieces, darling, do you comprehend? That is why I killed you in the end <laughs> A drop of cyanide I slipped into your tea I laughed like fuck as you died in front of me Then I pushed in your best slippers In your wig and in your bra Now your corpse is stinking out my car <laughs> And now the police are stunning in the pub should I run or just give myself up? I won't go down alone, no, I'll take out half the bar with this bomb that's strapped to my guitar. Anyway, Barry, I'll be done in a minute. You want a cup of tea then? I'm about to put his dinner on. Eh, hey, aye, thanks, Mary. I just want to ask him something about the fives, no? You? Aye, I'm you. I'm you for the future. And I'm here to tell you something. Get her pumped. <laughs> what? Please, don't blow this opportunity. In this timeline, if you grab Mary and winch her, kiss her like you've never kissed a woman before, she'll leave Barry and run away with you. Now hurry up, you don't have much time. But Please, you've got to do this. For both our sakes. Now I need to go. The time stream's closing. Milk, hi. Here we go. There's your tea. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's that, man? Oh. Oh. What's going on here? John's just winched me. Dirty bastard. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Penalty for it. Yes, mate, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me get back in time and bum myself up. <laughs> right, wait till you remember this one. <laughs> Come on, butter bolly, how you do? I was just thinking, Toshi. We're quality polis, aren't we? Quality polis, McGregor! Listen, we better go. That woman said she was going to phone the polis. Then what, what's the polis going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's gonna stop us! You should go on that X Factor. Oh, come Oh, you should, you should. You've got a beautiful singing voice. Let them hear you do your uptown girl. Oh, 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 you the quality police here. Oh, you <laughs> saw that? That was assault. Sure it was. Oh, get in the boot. Oh, he's metal hand. Listen, see if he arrests you. You'll never see your mommy again. You'll never see her again. I don't know you. Come on. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm going after you. You're after me. See, splinter. I'm not even dog guns for Scottish. <laughs> you better run. Save yourselves, oh angels! Get in the boot, Toss! You'll never get away with this, McGregor! There's all these witnesses! I'll not be any witnesses! Nay! No. Witnesses! <laughs> How good was that? All fake pepper spray routine never fails. Quality winter! Fish bump! Let's go! <laughs> Quality Polis. Quality Polis, McGregor. Not that way. <laughs> what are you eating? An epiphany continuum. <laughs> <laughs> A what? An epiphany continuum for the supermarket. What's that? I don't know, like pasta or something. <laughs> no, it's no pasta. I don't know what it is. An epiphany continuum. Aye. What kind of name's that for a ready meal? Is the bolt still in the kitchen? Aye. <laughs> Don't eat that. <laughs> so a date? It'll be fine. Mate, best before the year of our Lord, 1655. <laughs> Smells all right. I don't know, man. I don't like the look of this packaging either. Callum, I'm no bin in it. It was two quid. Right, look at the ingredients here, right? Primal matter, asp tongue mould, mandrake, the breath of God. <laughs> That's all additives, mate. Callum, I'm eating my epiphany continuum, all right? You'll know my ma. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> you fainted, man. Right after you ate that. You all right? We're doomed. <laughs> it's over. I saw things. Terrible things. I saw civilizations collapse. Every living soul driven insane. The world on fire. Cities devastated. Piles of bodies everywhere. Flesh pits burning in the moonlight. I saw the sun die. Stars turned in on themselves. The universe and they are nothingness. And I'm a malignant sentience behind it all. Watching. Waiting. 
まあ。申し訳ないし。あ。Still fucking starving. <laughs> Bye then, you silly wee man. <laughs> right, let's get the candles on Mammy's birthday cake, lad. Where's the rest of the word letters, Walter? Where's the and Walter? Walter. Where's the and Walter? It's in my hand, Belly. You've spoiled Mammy's cake. It's my name, and I can eat my name if I want to eat my own name anyway. Fine.、Hey, to Mammy from Paul. She'll just think it's for me. It was me that done everything as usual anyway. 'Cause you don't care about your own Mammy's ghost. I do care. I made my mummy a birthday card all by my own, which is even more special than buying one for a rubbish shop man anyway. You made a birthday card. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's just a few slices of corned beef. Well, we did anyway. It says, "Once upon a time, to Mammy from Walter, your best son, your best wee baby boy, Paul's a big stupid smelly idiot, and I hate him." The end. And where does it say that? I wrote it with my tongue, and it just made a hole in the beef, and you can't read it properly because my tongue is not a pen, Paul. My tongue is not a pen. Your mummy was a queen. Do you think Prince Charles turns round to the Queen on her birthday and says, "Here you go, mummy. Here's a few slices of meat. I sell a tape together and made a hole in it with my tongue." <laughs> a what? The word letters are my name on that cake. Tough. You ate all the word letters, and don't forget what Mummy used to say to you when you used to steal all our pills. What? Greedy people go to the bad fire. Well, I'll just tell Jesus I'm sorry anyway. Sorry's not enough. You have to make a sacrifice for one whole week. You have to give up eating. Arrows. No! I'll never give up eating arrows. It's the only way. Heaven or arrows. Jesus wants to know. Jesus, you're a bad man anyway. <laughs> you dare say that? Heaven or arrows?、Oh, heaven or arrows? 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 Oh! Arrows! I just want the arrows all the time, anyway. <laughs> right, Mummy. Think you like your cake? Money, I have no go. Can that cake, mate? All right, can you give me an arrow? No, you can go and tell your Jesus that nobody's getting an arrow because it's all bad chocolate anyway. Here <laughs> <laughs> you go, Mary. I'll give you that cake, won't you? What's the panic? Why am I rushing now? I need to ask you something important, Peter. What? Right, we're out one night, right? And I go to the toilet. Right, aye. You know, I'm away for ages, right? So you come and check on me. And you're like that. 
Scott, you alright? Right, aye. Maybe. <sighs> I'm no alright, man. I'm pretty far from alright. I'm lying there on the flare of that toilet cubicle with a shite hoff hanging out my ass. What are you doing that for? That's disgusting. Because I've collapsed. I don't know, man. Maybe I was putting too much effort in, I've passed out, or maybe I've had a heart attack. But either way, I'm lying there, face down, with a jobby poking out. What is this about? <sighs> Would you nip it off for me, mate? Eh? Would you nip it off for me before ambulance arrives? Save me that embarrassment? No. I wouldn't want to touch a mate's. No, all right. I can't believe I'm hearing this. That's what pals are for. Ask anybody. Nip them one half. That's in the code of friendship. Are you mental? Who even thinks about stuff like that? I'd do it for you, man. I'd nip one half for you any time. I don't want you to nip one half for me, Scott. If I'm so freakishly unlucky that I collapse while I'm squeezing one out, I don't want you poking about down there. Well, so you'd rather some medic fun you that way? You'd rather risk some beautiful young medic finding you like that? And see your pal just nipping it after you? I'd probably only see that paramedic at one time. I need to see you every day, looking you in the eye, knowing that it happened between us. No, you don't get involved down there, all right? Nay no nipping half for me. Peter, man. I don't know if you can even call us pals anymore. Well, maybe we'll know. I can't believe I'm about to say this. <laughs> All right. I'll nip it off. <sighs> oh, Peter, man, I knew I could trust you. But you don't touch mine. <laughs> Deal? Deal. Speaking of which, man, I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> Not a crime to be had. I reckon that's because we're quality police. It's Toshin. It's Toshin. Toshin! Toshin! Oh, one, one! It's ten both me! Or you one! I are you one! Real! It was real! You were ignoring me! Oh, purple! Bad oh, shush, it wasn't that bad. What? It wasn't that bad, man up. We're supposed to be polis. Quality polis. I'll get it. Hit it. Hit it more. Hit it. On your way. I'm moving, look at it. I'm moving. God's sake, Toshin, it's no that bad. Oh, you try it in, your big brown moustache bastard. I would do No problem, my quality police like me. He is big man, Will. You do it in, Will. I will do it, Will. I will. Right, here we go then. Here we are now. Right. <sighs> oh! oh, see, nothing, nothing. Oh! There you are, easy, Ozzy. Oh, easy, Ozzy. Oh. 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 Easy. Oh. Easy, boy. Oh. 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 Can I help you? Aye, can I have a packet of beef monster munch, please? 
We don't have any beefy. We don't have any beefy. <laughs> what have you got? We've got pickly onions. We've got pickly onions. And we've got bunny hot flavour. And we've got bunny hot flavour. Well, I could you stop repeating everything I'm saying? Well, I could you stop repeating everything I'm saying? I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry about this. Let me just have a wee word with my brother. Let me just have a wee word with my brother. If you don't stop copying me, I'll give you sherbet eyes. And I know how much you hate having sherbet eyes. Right, if you don't stop copying me, I'm going to give you sherbet eyes. And I know how much you hate having sherbet eyes. Can I have my crisps? Could you just wait a second and not be so bloody rude? Can you just wait a second and not be so bloody rude? Right. Copy this. Right, copy this. Mini, 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 mini. Mini, 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 mini. <laughs> what was a stupid, silly, daft, rubbish, wee idiot, wee stupid, nay pals, nobody loves him, everybody hates him, mammy never liked him, wee stupid, can he play the accordion, wee scared of the dark, wee smelly, smelly, smelly. <laughs> What well, is a stupid, silly, daft, rubbish, wee idiot, wee stupid, nae pals, nobody loves him, everybody hates him, mammy never liked him, wee stupid, can he play the accordion, wee scared of the dark, wee smelly, 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 anyway! Ha! <laughs> I never said anyway. Ha! Go I never said anyway, anyway! That's two anyways. I certainly never said anyway, anyway! That's two anyways! I certainly never said anyway, anyway, anyway! How would you like it if I just started copying you? How would you like it if I just started copying you? How would you like it if I just copied you? Well, you better stop copying me anyway! Hey, you better stop copying me anyway! Shabbat! Shabbat! Give me some water for my eyes! Give me some water! <laughs> <laughs> Mr Cumber, I think you'll be very pleased with the campaign we've come up with for Cumber's Pies. We are certainly very excited, aren't we, Don? <laughs> Mr Cumber, it's Hugh, isn't it? Hugh Cumber, yes. Hugh, we've got something very high concept here. Our Cumber's Pies commercial is so big, it can't fit on one TV channel. How do you mean? We broadcast simultaneously across two channels. On one channel, the left-hand side of the advert, on the next channel, the right-hand side. Not just widescreen, wider than screen. Hugh, this is event TV. Families pulling together two TV sets to celebrate that Cumber's name and style. I like it. OK, run up. And action! Mmm. When I think delicious pies, I think cumbers. The word itself is enough to make your mouth water. When I see this, I know that my food has been hand-baked in the kitchen that very day. When I see this, I know it's going to be hot, fresh and tasty, just the way I like it. When I look at this, I see a hundred-year tradition of quality pies. When I look at this, I'm reminded of special days with my mammy and my granny. Because they've loved cumbers pies all their lives too. And this is what I want to come home to at the end of the day. Those delicious pies, hot from the oven. Filling my house up with that familiar smell. That nostalgic, unforgettable smell of Cumber's pies. Mmm. Getting it right up my nostrils. <laughs> Filling my lungs up with it. Cumber's. Keeping my family's belly full for over a hundred years. And cut! Very good, very good. Margaret, it's about to start! The Angler's about to start! There's no remote for this other telly. It's about to... Mmm. The word itself. <laughs> you have to make your mouth water. When I see this, I know it's going to be hot, fresh and tasty. Just the way I like it. When I look at this, I'm reminded of special days with my mammy and my granny. And this is what I want to come home to at the end of the day. Filling my house up with that familiar smell. Mm. Getting it right up my nostrils. <laughs> Filling my lungs up with it. Keeping my family's belly full for over a hundred years. <laughs> Have you recently lost a loved one?
Are you having difficulty deciding whether to opt for a burial or a cremation? Bury him. Burn him. Bury him. Burn him. <laughs> if you simply can't make a decision on this, then why not choose a half and half, you know, from Herman Nichols' funeral directors? Half cremation, half burial. The best of both worlds. Half and half. It's not just for pizza. <laughs> I'm very impressed by your work in my very impressive company, Barry. You go far with us. Thanks, sir. I, I hope so. I like a boy with a bit of fire in his belly. And here I've got a cracker of a joke for you. There's this cannibal, and he walks into our bookies, and he's got a goldfish under his... Oh, God, no a joke. Everybody says his jokes are rotten. I'm the world's worst at pretending I think a joke is funny. Right, build up to a laugh. Act like you're enjoying it. Smile for Christ's sake! <laughs> are you all right, Barry? It's <clears throat> just a wee bit of heartburn now. You, know. you better watch your pen doesn't go on fire. <laughs> Shit! That was a wee joke. I dare we practice laugh here. <laughs> Worst laugh ever. You cannot let him get to the end of this joke. Say you've heard it. I've heard it! <laughs> I've heard it. No, you've heard that one. <laughs> oh, but this one, right? There's this oh, God, no. This is the backup joke. This is going to be even worse. Need to think of something. Can't you just say I've heard it again? I've heard it! Oh, I've heard that one too. <laughs> we'll try this one on then. There's this fella, he buys a speedboat, right? And his speedboat's full of crabs. Right. You've reached the maximum with the I've heard it's. I've heard it. What are you doing? This is no worse than a bad fake laugh. You've certainly heard a lot of jokes, Barry. It's just working in an office, you know. Well, I bet you've not heard this one. <laughs> this wee fella, right? This parrot. Right? He's on a pogo stick. Don't say you've heard it. Don't say you've heard it. I've heard it. There's these two antelopes. I've heard it. There's this pharaoh. I've heard it. There's an Irish swan. I've heard it. There's a... I've heard it. <laughs> Did Tony O'Hare put you up to this? Not. I knew it. I knew this would be a wind-up. <laughs> right, OK, you're lucky I've got a sense of humour, son. Let's go back to that original joke. Now, let's go... Fake a heart attack. Oh. 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 Son! No, no, no! No, no, no! Son, stay with me! It worked! Stay with me! And I'll tell you the rest of this joke! Pretend to die! Pretend to actually die! It's the only way! <laughs> no! 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 All I lived for was to make this boy laugh! Too late. I'm dead. <laughs> I've actually got a joke just for occasions like this. There's a crisp and a nut. I've heard it! <laughs> Mate, get off that machine. What? Get off that machine before anybody else sees you. How? Because it's for women. That machine, that's how. What? Mate, I have never seen a guy in that machine with my puff directing eye traffic to your boss like that. <laughs> Embarrassing his gaffer. Mate, the reason why you don't see guys on this is because all guys care about is having a big chest or big biceps. I'm wanting a total body workout. A total fanny workout, mate, like. <laughs> opening your legs like you're inviting all the men into you. Gaffer. Fuck away. Mate, that machine does nothing for your muscles. Lassie's sitting in that machine, he send out the signal to guys that they know what it's all about when it comes to opening their legs. Right? 
And see, Fudge, let him, right? They do press ups, so lassies go, oh, he takes all his weight on his arms and goes up and down on his like a beast until I've had to tickle a little bit, right? Guys do that, lassies go on this. It's a mating dance, mate, now get off it. Mate, we're at, mate. You're a total brasser, by the way. Total embarrassment. I got a big question It's a question that's on my lips It's really doing my boxing It's putting me off of my chips I know you're going to ask me my man I've got the same question too It's a question all about a bus shelter And a motherfucking shoe Whose shoes are they? 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 That guy dies at the end. 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 Could you be quiet? Sorry, just saying that guy, the main guy in the film, that guy there, he dies at the end. She shoots him at the end. That's how it ends. Hey, well, we don't want to know that. Shut up. Nice hair. Nice hair. Lovely hair. What? Nice hair. Shut up. No, oh, you, your boyfriend. I'm a lassie. You shut up. No, you're no. You're a hamster. What was that? You're a hamster. <laughs> I'm not talking to stupid wee boys about hamsters. Talking about you. You're a hamster. How am I a hamster? Shh. Quiet, please. Watch the film. Shut up. Nice hair. You shut up. No, you, your hamster. How am I a hamster? What are you saying? Nice hair. How am I a hamster? Ignore them. How come they're saying I'm a hamster? Does it matter? Aye. How am I a hamster? Shh. We'll get you flung out. Straight back to the pet shop. Straight back to the zoo. The hamster zoo. <laughs> Answer me, you pair of wee dicks. I'm trying to watch this motion picture here. Trying to watch this Oscar nominated motion picture. Why did you say I'm a hamster? This is a disgrace. I can't hear a hang cause you're a squeaking for this hamster. Hey! Why am a hamster? Will you leave it alone for God's sake. Well, why did they say I'm a hamster? I don't know. Your cheeks or your teeth or something, I don't know. <laughs> Bobble, Martin! Yeah. Picking about with wee guys, man. <laughs> What's he doing there? Oh, well, I'm going to phone the police. I'm sick of them hanging around there annoying people. Oh, leave them alone. They're not doing anything. Pops having a wee swally as well. <laughs> Maybe you better phone the police after all. <laughs> all right. I'm not ready yet, but just waiting here with my dad and all my mad uncles. What? <laughs> this is me, Danny. Gonna talk to him till I get ready. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
take a seat in the guest chair. <laughs> um, I'm all right standing. You squaring up to me in my own house? No, I'll... I'll sit. I can't hear a word this wee boy's saying. You're in the karaoke, Mike. <laughs> so what you wanting Caitlin for? I'm taking her to the... Into the mic, son, <laughs> so they can all hear you. I'm taking her to the pictures. I'm not taking any more after this, we prick! Sit down, Eddie. Let the boy talk. If you're going to go back to the jail for him, you better make sure he's worth it. <laughs> so what film is it you're going to see? The Double Date. And what genre of film is that? Romantic comedy. <laughs> Steady to vote! My blood's up! My blood's up! Vote. I'm sure there was a write-up about that film in the paper a day. Aye. Did it say it was up to much cop? They all look like the kind of guy that reads reviews <laughs> of romantic comedies. You're even who's Adam? He's talking to you like this. Let me see this. <laughs> A double date will have you doubled over. <laughs> Why would you want my daughter? Doubled over. I don't, I just thought it looked funny. There's more. The double date starring Russell Brand. <laughs> a beast! A boastful sex beast! It's a whip smart saucy sex romp. A whip smart saucy sex romp. Whip smart saucy saucy sex sex romp. 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 Why would you want to take my daughter to her farm? I had just heard it was funny. Reading between the lines here, this jagged whisper. He said to himself, I'm so full of spunk and bravado, I'm going to go round to that lassie's house and piss in her dad's face. <laughs> Is that what you're planning for me? And my in <laughs> Ronnie, get the handcuffs and the spoons. the way it is with men, darling. There's no other way! Want some? <laughs> That's what I thought. And the same goes for all you old bastards with teenage daughters. Us, we guys, only put up with your growling because we're trying to get her home. The fact <laughs> is, old oh, Jean, your daughter's boyfriend is younger and fitter and stronger than you and could floor you without breaking a sweat. <laughs> Instead of worrying about what he's after, just thank him for the fact that he allows you to breathe. On you go. Thank him the now. Phone him if you need to. Your daughters are ours now. Yeah! That's a really wee wardrobe you've got. 
What are you talking about? My wardrobe's just a normal size. That one? <laughs> That's not my wardrobe. Just how we is this wardrobe, son? They say that it's really, really we. <laughs> No! No! Be gone, we want to! There and all. Oh no, 1300 quid, you know, one there and all. <laughs> Sick now! <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> Face your <laughs> front. <laughs> you shaky dancer. Mr. Dancer to you. What did you call me? I called you a lousy, lazy, lame bastard. That's what I heard. Just so you know, wee man, I could have taken the rest of the fannies any day of the week. I chose to lose. I bet against myself. Yeah. <laughs> no, my biggest payday, but it was worth 1,300 quid. You don't let me see you at my race course again. <laughs> you dirty, cheating bastard! I need that money! <laughs> are you better, Ron? I'll be back to my 1300 quid tomorrow, or you'll be glue! I'll be back to your jockey, go on! Come here, yeah, you barrack shit! Oh. You need to come out from underneath that blanket and start your work. I can't come out from under this blanket because you made me watch that horror film last night anyway. It wasn't a horror film, Walter. It was the Jules Holland show. <laughs> well, I don't even know who Jules Holland is, but I'm scared of him anyway. <laughs> Serve that lassie. Can I help you? Do you sell tampons? <laughs> Paul! What is it? My brother! My big brother! What is it? My handsome big brother! What is it? What is it? <laughs> One second. <laughs> what was that word you just said anyway? Tampons. Thank you. <laughs> Paul, what's the tampons? Who <laughs> said that? That was it. That is inappropriate. Let me deal with this. <laughs> well, what is it, Paul? What is the tampons anyway? <laughs> Don't you dare use that word in front of my brother. When his mammy's ashes are sitting right there and tapping the roysters. I was just asking, some vans sell them? Well, we certainly don't. This is a family van. You beat it. Oh, Paul! 
What is that? What's a tampons? It doesn't matter. Is it somebody David Jules Holland? <laughs> no, just play with your jigsaw. <laughs> Paul. What? Do you believe in Jules Holland? I will or I do believe in Jules Holland because he's real. He's a real guy. He's a telepresenter. He's no a monster. It wasn't a horror film for the last time. Well, I think all the films should be banned anyway because I think I warped my mind watching that Jules Holland last night. Oh, your mind's always been warped. Don't you say that with my best pals here in the van. That's not a best pal. That's a Breville toaster. <laughs> Reginald P. Bartholomew Esquire. And you part of his feelings. It's a Breville toaster, and I'm sick of having to pull out your bed every time I want a toasty. <laughs> it was you! It was you that was putting cheese in them! I thought you had an infection! You're a tampon! Oh. You're a tampon! Why don't everybody see my brother? He's a big fat tampon! <laughs> The Jews just embarrassed my daughter a few minutes ago. Um. <clears throat> well, uh, look, it's Jules Holland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start the van. Put your feet, Paul. Paul, wait, Reginald, this me. Break it out. The core of Ish McGregor. That's cause it's for a curry show, but it's a front for a drugs empire. So the kitchens are spotless. Now that's the key to a good takeaway, sure it is. If the kitchens are clean, it's run by gangsters. That's why we police always go easy on the gangsters, isn't it? Cause you need your scran. Go to protect your scran. <laughs> Help. No making an arse of the crime scene before the detectives arrive. Don't worry, McGregor. Quality police all the way. <laughs> Poor bugger shot in the heat. Gangland hit is what I'm seeing here. All right, so you'll be hearing nothing more about this one, seeing as how tasty this pecor is. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, here what? I've spilt chilli sauce all over this body, is that all right? Aye, there's more sauce out in the motor, sure. <laughs> no, I mean, cause it's like a crime scene and all that, no that way. Oh, aye, right enough. Yeah, I'll just mix it in with the blood. <laughs> there you go. Easy, Ozzy. Quality polis. Right then, let's see these CDs out here. See if we can get any holy notes on them. Oh, Toshin, Toshin, look. Oh, here. What did I tell you? If this wasn't a crime scene, I'd pepper you. Right, come, do not worry. The quality police will sort out. <laughs> Take his shoes off. What? I'll swap shoes with him. <laughs> then it'll be his footprints or the flare, aye. <laughs> hey, hold on, what's the picture here? A guy gets shot in the head. Then he gets up and walks out his CDs. What's he doing? Picking songs for his cremation. Well, you're overhunting things here, McGregor, as pair. Right, it'll just be like one of the murder scene mysteries, like the mystery of the guy who, I hope to God, has a wooden leg. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. You better hide that leg. Why? Because all your DNA will be all over it now. <laughs> Oh! Well, no, no, we dogs escape! You <laughs> stupid bastard, it's a hamster! Oh! They clean them off! <laughs> ah! A zombie! Oh! 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 I tell you, zombies are real! Yeah, give me my leg! You're running a zombie's trainer! Oh. Oh! Oh! 
Was the fell and hit my head a dollion? Pakora. Belter. 